Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 11 of Vampire Survivor like game in Unity. Projectile weapon. In this episode we want to introduce a new weapon, which will be a projectile type weapon. I draw this small knife sprite. Yeah, I know, my artistic genius is frightening. Let's make the throwing knife object on the scene. Let's rescale it for our taste. Let's create a new empty object for weapon throwing knife on the player. Which will have all the definitions for the throwing knife weapon. So create a new component called Drawing Dagger Weapon or Drawing Knife Weapon, doesn't matter really. Inside we need to define the amount of time between each knife is thrown. Create a new serialized field called Time to Attack and timer. Create serialized reference for the knife prefab. Let's assign value in Unity. Create prefab of the knife. We will be throwing around. Open the script and let's make our character throw a knife. In the update, check if the timer is less than the timer to attack. In that case, iterate the timer. Otherwise, it means we need to spawn the knife, which we threw. We want to spawn a knife into the direction we move. For this we need to store the reference to the player move script, where we have a, the vector of direction we are moving towards. Because player move is on our parent object, use get component and parent to get the reference. Good. Now let's instantiate the prefab knife. Assign the position to the new knife to be the same as the position of the game object for weapon throwing knife on the scene, which is parented to the player character. And because of that, it will be spawning the knife in the position of the character. Make sure that weapon throwing knife position is 000. Let's test this. Okay, they spawn. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Now we want to assign the trajectory to this projectile. Select the prefab. 
create another new script called Drawing Dagger Projectile. Inside, create a new variable called Direction and serialized variable Speed. Add the direction multiplied by the speed to the position of our object. This way we will move the object in the space. Create a new public method called setDirection. Inside we want to set direction of the movement for our drawing dagger by passing two parameters to form the vector of movement. Then we want to rotate the object if the horizontal movement is to the left, rather than to the right. If the horizontal direction is less than zero, then we will mirror the object by multiplying the scale x by minus one and assigning modified value back to the transform of the drawing dagger. Now we need to call the set direction when we instantiate the dagger. Because we are only throwing dagger to the left or to the right, we don't need a vertical direction. So just assign zero for the vertical direction. And it should work now. Okay, we need to set the speed on the prefab. Weird, where is my knives? Oh, I forgot to multiply the direction and speed by time delta time. This is done because the time between frames is not consistent. So we need to multiply the movement of the object by this value to synchronize the movement of the object to the frame rate. Good, now our knives do fly around, yet they still can't hit anything. To make our knives be able to detect that they hit something, we will use overlap circle all. This cast will create a circle to detect an overlap with all the objects, with colliders. It returns the array of all objects it overlapped with. Then we can cycle through the list and check if those objects has an enemy script. In that case, we will deal damage.
Let's make the size of the overlap circle. I think 0.7 will be good. If you want to change the area our projectile is covering while flying around, change this number. It can be bigger for bigger projectiles, it can be smaller for smaller projectiles. It depends what you want to achieve with that specific projectile. And if we detect the enemy, we want to destroy the knife. We will make a bool variable, which will become true if we detect the enemy. And in that case, we will destroy the object. Good. As you can see, I can hit the enemy with my throwing knife. Right now our throwing knife has space for optimization. You see right now our knife casts the overlap every frame in the update, which we don't really need to do. Your knife doesn't move that much between frames. So what we can do is to skip checks between frames, which will save some performance. By doing this, we divide frame count of our game and return the leftover. This way we skip checks and make checks only every 6 frame, for example. The faster your object is moving and the smaller our projectile is, the more often you should make those checks. Because if you make this number too high, there is possibility that our projectile will skip the target. But it is always a balancing act. Alternatively, you can use timer for this instead of frame count. But I personally found frame count a little more efficient to deal with rather than timers. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you are interested in seeing what you come out of this, please subscribe. If you want to support further, you can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Belong and this old hash do for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.